I've really... I'm gonna wait for the camera to be off. <laughs> <laughs> My mom wanted to meet you. Who could f***ing blame her? <laughs> and this f***ing gem is actively filtering them. <laughs> Just reading questions. He wouldn't laugh this hard if it wasn't true. <laughs> you know what feels weird? What? How wonderfully chilly this car is right now. It's great! Oh my god! This is why we're in a Ferrari, baby! It's how we roll! We've changed! Money is good right now! Fame, fortune, and bitches! We're different than the way you remember us! We're richer! F*** you! F*** you! Jesus. Sir, we take it all back. Sir, Josh, 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 Joseph, Joey, Joey, Joey. What's up, and welcome back to the Josh Peck channel. Today, we're going to be trying sush bagoosh provided to us by Sweet Fin Pokey. We have all different types of sush, including salmon, albacore, spicy tuna, special popcorn of matcha and sriracha, asparagus, and spring rolls. <laughs> Fun fact Joe used to work at a sushi buffet. It's true, I was the only white guy in New Jersey, which <laughs> means the fish have had three heads because it there, there's a lot of nuclear reactors in the Garden State. It's only one. But it blew up. <laughs> <laughs> three Mile Island or whatever it's called. Isn't that, isn't that Tokyo? No, that's um, Fugazi. That's like a real disaster. People need to start talking about it. How come no one's saying anything? They're not better. Why are they not talking about it? Because the board of, of Japanese tourism is like, we're fine, we're <laughs> fine. We're, trust us, we're fine. Did you know that I'm nice with chopsticks? No, I didn't. I'm nice with it. I could eat anything. I could eat a chocolate covered popcorn. Not chocolate, sriracha. This is sriracha? Sriracha popcorn. Oh! It's not that bad. And it does have a kick to it. Under my breath, I did say, Josh, do you have any waters in your car? As you walked over, but you didn't hear me. How do you not have liquids? You need to build a water system into the car. You should have <laughs> one of those soda guns. Now Josh is trying matcha popcorn. What mm. the heck? How come half of it came empty? What's going on? <laughs> not half. 94%. <laughs> I ate all of it. It's good. It's incredible. I want to go back and get more of this. Very delicious. I really want to get plants and put them in the back seat so it's like a talk show. Yeah. <laughs> is that funny? Someone call Exhibit. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying the spring roll. It looks like there's salmon though. Yeah, but I thought it was plant-based. Not dog, not if there's salmon. I mean, I think salmon's not bad, but... Mm. Or maybe it's ginger. It's ginger! Mmm. Mmm. Are these yellow peppers in it? Mmm. Oh! Tangy. Sweet and Pokey is like, they were inspired after they went to the Hawaiian Islands, and then they made this place. Really? Uh-huh. I could see that. If they were like, we went to Detroit, and we said... Pokey. Then I'd be like, wow. You call shenanigans? Yeah, no, I'd just be like, walk me through this. All of these did have the names on it, but I completely forget. Let's create our own names. This right here is called the Josh Peck Poke Bowl. It has avocado, carrots, and it's got a rice base. This one's called the Tofu Gazy. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. There's like shiitake mushrooms with the tofu. There's a fun sprinkling of some Japanese spice here, which I'm not mad at. And the mushrooms just give a wonderfully, like, meaty, strong texture. This is fat in the veggies. This is delicious. What does ponzu mean? You're, you're a knowledgeable man. Okay. I think it's a vinegar mm -hmm. soy sauce. Like, vinegar and soy sauce. These are really good. I would be full off this. Switchies! Switch aroni! Oh my god. I love their rice here. I've ordered from this place before, and it's delicious. Yeah, they do something weird to it. That sweet fit is gonna be linked down below. Go check them out. Are you a big tofu guy? Huge. Huge. Are you? Huge. Look how short those grains are. There's little dwarf grains. How do they make them so good? Mm. And how do they make tofu? Tofu is, is mm -hmm. soybeans. Rice is a really important ingredient towards dishes like this. Sushi, pokey. I've heard about sushi. It's not about the fish. What is it about? It's about the rice. And the fish is just like the fun umbrella for the rice. <laughs> this is fresh caught salmon. I saw them caught it. Catch it. Really? No. I wish. Oh, how cool would it be to go do a fisherman thing? Josh and go, Joe, go catch fish. I'm down. Do you have a guy? I feel like you do. Yeah, I can get a guy in a hot minute. My father-in-law. <laughs> can you make that happen? Mm -hmm. We wake up at the buck crack of dawn, go catch some fresh sush and eat it. Or we go midday, just get a massive net and do it in an hour. I like that. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite fish? Mm. I like all types of fishes. Nemo's. Have you ever eaten clownfish? No, can you? I don't know. That's really mean. Have you ever had the fish that like, if you eat any other part of it, you die? Blowfish. I think it's, one, it's a very poisonous fish. It can be. Have you ever had it? No, you can eat it, but it has to be prepared very expertly. And where I go for sushi, it's two rolls for 10 bucks, so I don't trust it. <laughs> Imagine, that's how you go out. 
Ooh, ooh, can I try this one? Hell yeah. This is a good ass bite. Dang. Mm. Oh, I love fried onions like this. I like an onion sack from like a Tony Romo's. Tony Roma's? The best, the football player? I think it's Tony Roma's or Tony Romo. Tony Roma's the football player. Tony Roma's is a, the, it's a ribs joint. Are you ready to answer some quick Josh Peck trivia? I'd love to. <laughs> this is a new segment I've created called Ask Josh Questions. And it's just a way to spice things up here. Mmm. These are all fan submitted questions. Dang. All you had to do is go follow us on Twitter, tweet it to us, and here they are. Okay. What's the grossest thing you've ever experienced so far on your journey of fatherhood? Oh, um, <laughs> when your child poops himself, sometimes it goes up his back. Sometimes? It's happened more than once? Yeah. What are your thoughts on you being the first one to die in an ATM? That's your question, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. Is it? No, someone submitted that. First of all, spoiler alert, <laughs> and there's still probably like eight people left that were still going to see that movie. <laughs> I was the joke guy in that movie. Is this albacore or tuna? Mm -hmm. This is tuna. Looks like tuna. Didn't we get the albacore truffle bowl thing? I think we got two albacores. But this one has asparagus, avocado, mm. and the rice. And I think tuna. So were you upset when you found out you were the first to die? No, because I feel like I had a great... I was part of great company in the sense that in most horror movies, the black guy usually dies first. Mm -hmm. So it was a great honor. <laughs> I was a jokester. The jokester always dies. And like the one who stays... It's always either the stoic girl who's like, he was my cousin, or the super studly guy, neither of which I fall into those categories. <laughs> we got chips from Sweet Fin Pokey. Lit. <laughs> These are taro chips, straight from the Pokey Islands. Dang. I love taro. It's my favorite root. How'd you know it was a root? Because I've fucking lit. You, I guess. Wow. wow. The texture on this is insane. Mmm. What's the green powder on it? Um, fentanyl. <laughs> no wonder why it's addicting. <laughs> they gave Annalise fentanyl the other day. Word? Uh-huh. For what? When she went in for her operation. M? Super fun, right? Yeah, she loved it. Lucky. No, she was nervous at first. I don't think they gave her a lot. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> More questions? Yeah, man. What's your favorite character that you've ever done? Either Josh Peck from David Dobrik's vlogs. He was a great guy. <laughs> or probably right now, Josh Peck in uh, his show, The Saga. <laughs> the Saga. You know what I love about you? Yes. Let me tell you about this guy, okay? <laughs> your favorite YouTuber, Joe Volpes. I know that there is a litany of shithead questions that came in. <laughs> questions that would really hurt my feelings. Questions that would fucking bum me out. And this fucking gem is actively filtering them. <laughs> Just reading questions. He wouldn't laugh this hard if it wasn't true. <laughs> and I appreciate it. Ow. There was one question that I just thought was fun I could ask. I'm ready. Josh, how do you block people so quickly on Twitter? Do you have a team or do you do it yourself? <laughs> is that person blocked by me? I don't know. Let's check. That's amazing. I bet they are because they sound salty as f Do you want to check? Let's find these assholes. What if it's like a, a eight year old girl? She probably said something sh <laughs> and it's good that she learns earlier than later that you can't get away with that. Is she blocked? No. Oh, does she even follow you? No, so she is now. Blocked. No, don't block her. That's what happens when you don't follow a homie. So if you don't follow you or if you say something rude, you get blocked? It doesn't even have to be rude. It could just hit me the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> How many likes on this video to get a follow from you? On Twitter, for me. I don't follow you on Twitter? No. 100,000. No! Make it obtainable. Oh, 20. Oh, come on! <laughs> no, I'll keep it at 20. Let's see how devoted the Joe Tato heads are. Please, this is literally all I need in my life. This brings us into my next question. People want to know how much I pay you for our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> this is the next one. What is this? This is albacore. Ooh. Albacore, pineapple. Macadamia nut. Mm-hmm. Mm. What is albacore exactly? It's a... Uh, a form of tuna. I think it's like the head honcho tuna. No. This is the big guy? Yeah, it's like the Dwayne the Rock Johnson of tuna. This is the big tuna? Because like the bluefin tuna is like the Ariana Grande of tuna. Mmm. I've never been a, a albacore fan. Really? Yeah. I'm also just not a tuna fan. Mmm. Okay, I'm seeing a trend here and I'm totally getting it. I love salmon. Okay. I love crab. I love shrimp. Just not a tuna guy. Oh, what's the white fish? Uh, halibut? And tilapia. I like tilapia. Ah. 
Mm. I like the little mangoes in this. Were you always like critiquing food even when you were little? I can picture you sending stuff back to the kitchen when you were like 12. No, you think I sent anything back? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's try some of this uh, sushi tuna salmon. I think it's chili flakes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is flavor fucking city. AJ. Uh huh. Wow. I think this is just hot. Is it too spicy? Uh, not really, but it is spicy. Remember when it was my idea to eat banging buns and I literally couldn't recover for weeks? <laughs> I had to actually cancel a video the day, like the minute of, because of intestinal distress. Who'd have thought it would have tore your stomach lining? I went to the doctor thinking it was all over. In my head, I was like, I wonder what my funeral will be like. Did you think you were going to have surgery? Yeah, that day. You thought that you were going to come back and be like, Josh, you can't leave. Yeah. Holy I thought they were going to be like, we, we, the ambulance is on its way. More like the ambulance, am I right, Joe Tato heads? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Want to hear something crazy? Yes. My friend broke his leg in the Ukraine. Uh huh. And the doctor said, "You broke your foot so bad that your heel is literally in your leg." Ugh. And we have to fix it immediately before you fly back to America. Otherwise, if we let this go on for like another day, it'll be irreparable. So they drilled with a friggin' Home Depot drill into its heel, pulled the bone out with a weight, hung a weight on the end of its heel. Why? And they use it as like leverage? Yeah. He was awake. How, your heel is a bone? Yeah, your heel bone. <laughs> That's what I'm most so mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> so it just went up? Yeah. Oh my god. And they had to like pull it out and then. Is he good now? Well, we'll see. Oh, this just happened? Last week. Oh my god, guys, make sure to subscribe. Check out next week to see what happens. Yeah. Do you have any really Italian relatives that are like, fucking Joey boy? It's like my, my dad's cousins are. Mm. They're like the super Italians. Are they in crime? Can't talk about that on camera, Josh Peck. You have family in the mob? We can't talk about that on camera, Josh Peck. Why are you, why are you talking like this all of a sudden? Because this is how we talk when we talk about mob stuff. I feel like you'd love to do like an Italian crime movie. Yeah, I'd kill that shit. Who do you think you'd be in the characters? I'd either be the in like the Fredo, like the idiot brother who ruins everything. Yeah. And then the good brother has to like kill him to like make it right. Or like you fucked with the wrong family. Yeah. And then they're like, okay, okay, we'll take him out. And then they just kill you. And like I'm just saying to my brother, like Fredo, like, oh, I'm smart. <laughs> I would just do my best Tony Soprano impression, honestly. I want to fucking bed. <laughs> Spoiler alert, what'd you think about the ending? I think there was no good way to end it. When something gets that good? Yeah. You just can't please everybody? It's like Seinfeld. How'd they end Seinfeld? Spoiler alert. They go to jail. How'd they end Friends? Spoiler alert. How did they? I don't know. How'd you end Drake and Josh? We didn't. We just stopped making it. Oh. I really... I'm gonna wait for the camera to be off. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Tato Heads, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out Josh's channel, he's gonna be linked down below. Thanks, Joe Bros. This is a root. Make sure to check out Sweet Fin Pokey. They are f***ing delicious. We'll see you later, Joe Tato Heads. Wait, wait, wait. Hi, Tony Romo. Go! Boom! <laughs>